I want to show you a quick organizational tip for your clear touch panel and that's renaming the inputs. If you're anything like me, you have a lot of technology, document cameras, uh, different laptops that you like to connect to your display. So keeping things organized is a must. Very, very simply uh, on the uh, general settings menu here, we can see all of our inputs. Uh, you'll notice by default, they're simply named HDMI 1, HDMI 2, I have USB type C, I have the VGA connection here as well. Um, but if we want to, we can also rename those and make it a little bit easier to navigate. So to do that, the first thing we're going to do is actually switch inputs to the Android side of the display. Uh, we can do that in a couple ways. We can either swipe up like you see I'm doing here uh, to get to this menu. We can also use the side toolbar here. Uh, we can either get to the input menu uh, using the bottom button on the side toolbar or you'll notice on that side toolbar there is also a home button and that's going to take us directly to the Android side. So uh, if you get to this screen, if this looks familiar, uh, the Android screen here, we want to find the settings menu. So down in the bottom right hand corner, I'm going to select my more apps button there and that's going to take me to the apps that I have installed. Uh, and let's go ahead and locate the settings app. Uh, this app may be uh, blocked by your administration. You, you can put a password on this as well. So uh, if you're seeing a password screen here, you may need to contact your IT administration. Uh, but if you're able to get into the settings menu, we're simply going to scroll down here until we see the option here for input settings. So I'm going to go ahead and select input setting and that's going to take me to uh, the page where we can see our different input names. So the first thing I need to do is actually turn on what's called the input alias switch. So let's go ahead and turn that on up in the top corner and now I can actually see uh, the ability here to get in and rename those. So as I said I've got a few devices connected but let's do the Chromebook here. I have a Chromebook connected to HDMI 1. So I'm going to go ahead and tap in the HDMI 1 and let's go ahead and just simply type in Chromebook. There we go. So I've got Chromebook connected there. That's all I need to do. I don't need to turn it back on or back off. Uh, I'm simply going to just close out of this menu here, uh, get back to the Android screen. Um, and now if I go ahead and swipe up to my input menu again here, uh, you'll notice that it's named Chromebook there. And again, you can do this for any of the inputs on the screen. Uh, you should be able to go in and give them a custom name if you have a DVD player, document camera, uh, or any device connected. And that should make switching over there uh, nice and organized for you.